Ladies and gentlemen, do I have a game for you? Oh, oh, oh. So we have a Kaysante top and now heed these runes. It's a lethal tempo. He's playing versus Darius. So the idea here probably is to be able to uh, run away quickly. We're running Press of Mind, Tenacity and Last Stand. And then we have Resolve Tree, running Conditioning and Overgrowth, Attack Speed, Armor and HP in the Glyphs, and it is a Ghost Teleport, again, facing off against Darius, so we'll see how exactly Cassandra will be able to do. Pretty sick skin he has. All right, let's have a look at this one. This is going to be this is going to be very interesting. So he does get his Q stacks here, but he okay. So this is very important. He respects Darius's level one, and yep, manages to dodge the Darius Q and goes in for the last hit. Lethal Tempo gets him out, but the level two of Darius. The punish is here. Darius did ghost. The Q is going to connect, and Kesante is in a little bit of trouble here. He will be able to last hit, but he has to hit level 2 here, yeah. So the level 2 will protect him from getting dove level 2. <laughs> well, that's about it. Alright, E into the Q, knock up into the tower range, and that is Terriers now low on HP. Still very scary situation, but definitely much better than it looked just a second ago. That Q insect will pe catch people off guard in the beginning. And enemy Gragas actually picks up a double kill for himself. Kind of scary. Q Nijin Wu or something. Interesting name. Korean server this is, by the way. Challenger replay as well. So definitely something valuable to watch is actually oh we have a teleport into the bot lane he's going to stop a dive here all right he's just going to pick up some farm i guess some xp and has to recall now right oh no we are going to push this out together okay i respect it i respect it use your time well but the top lane state is really bad for him so i would say that this teleport even if he got a lot of out of it still would hurt him more than it would help him as you can see how much exactly darius will be able to pick up lane wives there as we're looking for it's a little it's a little fiestery huh what are we okay so okay what he's doing here is he actually knows he can't step up to darius right I assume. And so he just... He just doesn't. Important. Important little thing to learn. Especially in the Darius matchup is... Uh, be careful. He can all in you. Alright, we gotta be careful here. Ghost is coming up for Darius. Okay, Sante, not the ghost available. So, gotta be a little bit careful. Oh, beautiful. What a great emote spam that is. 10 out of 10, honestly. Very good. Yeah, you see him use the lethal tempo here to get out. Ooh, nice. Dodges out on that grab. And he will be able to pick up the XP and farm. Alright, Q number one, Q number two. Dodges out again. And the third Q is going to pick him up, I think, one minion. Yeah, the Q has like okay range. I mean, you know, it's not it's not a Mundo Cleaver at, at any means, but you know, it's, it's okay. Definitely uh definitely has played this champion before, the guy. Alright. It's the same in all servers. People play it and then they're like, oh, this is going to be my new champion now. This is my niche, this is my life now. He's not a definitely a really cool champion, so it's definitely it's definitely a champion that is going to see a good amount of play. 
I have yet to try him out. Don't have any accounts that have enough blue essence. Neither am I interested in top laners because I'm not a very good top lane player and uh, at this point I would be 0-8 probably. So that is what it is. I'm right, gonna pick up some mid lane farm here. Actually, a really good choice. Groups up the minions. <clears throat> and he's gonna move back into the top lane after clearing out this ward. Bada boom, bada bam. Alright. Something to learn. Know your limits. Know that Darius can absolutely destroy you. So he's kind of looking for the setup for the Syndra here, but I, dude, I would be very careful. Syndra has not acquired level 6 yet. Alright, Darius did zone him off some minions there, but he didn't manage to send the wave fully into the tower, I believe. And so, okay, Santa will be able to pick up a good amount of minions here. Alright, he... He will be able to... Well, farm most of this. Beautiful Q. Oh, I'm so sorry. My window was still open. It's pretty late at night. I just finished my stream. I uh, usually stream every Thursday, every Tuesday and Friday, but I will be taking a break because of holidays. Oh, the insect. Oh, he didn't get it. No. Okay, he pulls him into the tower range. Dashing out of the ultimate, but are you actually able to kill this guy? Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but the second Q is available here. Are we going to see a... Yup, beautiful knockup connects, and that is a dead Darius. Alright, Gragas looking for the kill pickup here, but the def... Oh! Dude, that was so well done. He used the Q to kind of like... He positioned himself behind Gragas, knocked him over his head behind himself, and then get ran out. He did die, but that was such a good play. Ooh, I like it. 10 out of 10. As of course, Gragas picks up another kill for himself. Gragas mid lane, the new meta apparently. Harold gonna be summoned in the top lane, which means no go. For the turret, turret is down. I think it's a first turret as well that went over to Gragas. Gragas is a rich little man. A very huge fan. Ooh, he's gonna insect the Gragas again. But is he going to be able to take down Kaysanta? No, he get, he acquires a double kill. As I stumble over my words. Just like he stumbled into the tower range. And into Kaysanta's bank account, basically. Basically, right? That makes sense. Turn gold picked up as well. So this case, Santa is huge. Not only is he 3-1, he is virtually 4-1 because of the shutdown gold he has acquired. Let us see if we are able to clear this out quickly enough. Where's the Darius? Well, not here. It would seem. Dude, this is making me want to play case Santa. That looks freaking amazing dude this champion has a lot of it has a lot of playmaking potential like the knockups the throw arounds the insects like you gotta be you gotta be careful if you're close close to this guy and he is close to a turret and yeah it's, uh, it's uh, kind of scary interesting big fan the the yasuo q mechanics are also interesting Frozen Gauntlet, by the way, had been acquired already. It's gonna start working on those turrets. Half a kill has been grabbed. It goes down. Talon 817. Yeah. Dude, honestly, Lucian, Lucian is doing very good as well. So, this game is looking very, very favorable. Let's see what the tank man can do you can definitely tell that the the players are not used to playing against Kisante, where he's already used to 
playing him quite a bit. So, definitely some pretty good plays here so far. I wish I could tell you exactly the username of this person, but it is not possible as all the Korean names on this replay are corrupted. Means that someone is using a client that is English, doesn't have, you ha he has the UT UTC 8. Codec doesn't have the ability to show the Korean Hangu. All right. Well, this is going to be interesting. So let's see. Let's see how he sets up for kills. Um, because the thing is, the problem with Kesante is that you need to hit enemies to be able to use the Q. Right? What? And he pulls Rel just into almost his base, dude. Interesting. All right, gonna knock up the Gragas, but yeah, respects it. All right, second queue available again. Gragas knocked up, Gragas taken down, and we're looking at the Kaisa now who's already used her ultimate. She's going to flash out, and that is a Ghosting Darius. You do not want to mess with the Ghosting Darius. Uh, long range Q definitely not going to hit. All right, we're working on Mastery Free. Master Free is absolutely done. Beautiful Q predict as we run into the Darius now. And Darius, although he has Conqueror stacked, is not going to live here. Because beautiful play by K Santi just keeps close to Darius. And that was a very controlled and very disciplined play out of K Santi here. He kind of didn't really try to protect Syndra, but this is something that uh, you'll see high elo players do, is they do understand that as a tank, they will usually help Darius more than they help their teammate if they try. So, you know, in a lot of situations. I don't know how much damage Gragas is going to do to this guy, but I don't expect... Back to W here for the case under, but obviously Nami's there and Talon as well. So yeah, he does good amount of damage, the Gragas. Ultimate is going to come through. Q1, Q2, and we are going down 700 gold over to Gragas. Alright. Gold's aggreg aggregating with the same people again. Good amount of gold just being like thrown around here. Teams are very close actually to each other in gold kind of entertaining because it's a yeah it's, it's still a close game right as Kesante has suffered from the second death of this game many more to come i'm sure he is a tank after all but it's kind of his job Gonna move into the top lane and Syndra. I'm gonna pick up some farm. Syndra, why are you not going bot lane? Syndra really didn't want to go bot lane, apparently. Okay, Santa says, I am stronger. I want to be close to Harold. Looking at Harold. Harold not being done right now, and Cassandra just starts it. Bold move, considering that. Darius is going to move in here in a second. Greg is definitely not in position to contest here. So the pickup is probably going to be achieved. Yep. And now we can see if we can kill Darius, I guess. Okay, Santa Ultimate is available, so you can pull him into the Talon if he wants to. Alright, he moves in, cuts off Darius' escape path. Yeah, Darius is just dead. Like, this is the point where Darius sees. Yep. Not looking good. All right, death comes for him once again. Two, five, and one. Again, right? The Q insect. You saw it there again. Throws the minion into himself. And he is farming quite a bit for a tank player. Not saying tank players shouldn't farm, but you know, he definitely, he definitely. Uh, I think seems to be confident that he can deal quite a bit of damage as well and that gold is valuable on him something that is also the case with something like Orn for example right Orn levels are quite important and does do pretty well 
if you can get some gold onto him as well. Mastery. We're going to pick up a kill onto the Gragas here. Beautifully done. Throws him around with the ultimate. Kind of weird interaction between Rel, but picks up <laughs> picks up the Rel as well. You know what? Yeah, why not? 7-2-3, tank. You know, throws Yi into himself. How? There's no way he lives. Okay, good. That, that is... Okay. So that would have been absolutely ridiculous, by the way. Herald going to be dropped, and that means that the tier 2 turret will stay, actually, will barely stay alive. Nice, but no overextension by the blue team. That's good. Flash. Ultimate. Dead. Goodbye, Nami. That is Sushi prepared with an axe for you right there. With a great axe, matter of fact. So, probably not the finest of cuts, but that's fine. Here in Noxus. I think they probably prefer the fish dead over the fish being, you know, prepared in uh, the correct way. Just clapper. Just clapper. Run down the X. <laughs> well, we're split pushing. Teleporting into the mid lane to pick up the turret. And are we going to... Ooh, triple kill for the Syndra. Let's go, let's go. Are we going to be able to pick up this turret? Master Yi is alive, so... This is going to be interesting. Okay, Santip. Oh my god, this is a tower dive. Okay, pulls him out of the tower here. Yeah, jumps onto him. Bada boom, bada bam. Goodbye. Yeah, that just happened. You you just saw that happen. Pretty good. Ultimate running out. And he's back to tanky old himself. 50% HP. Has been returned. I mean, yeah, the damage isn't crazy. You know, you, you, you can definitely see that... His ultimate is what gives him the damage, which is pretty sick, because that means that, you know, he, he has this go button. And then after that, he is just a normal tank that can throw around people. I like the, the, the fact that he has, like, a mini Braum ability as well. He does have quite a bit. He does have quite a bit of tools, by the way. Like that. He, he, he does have quite a, quite a few tools. And the skin's ki skin kind of reminds me um, of Cyberpunk's... Um, what are they called? Cyber Freaks? Right? The, the bigger guy. Ooh, pulls him under the turret and he will take down Darius. This tank just beat a Darius. I mean, I know. It's, 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 it's gold difference. But like, still. Okay. Okay, Santa beats Darius. Oh, that's the new title. Oh my god, that was the perfect clickbait, dude. The perfect clickbait. Now, I'm gonna say this. You see that my, my videos always have two titles, right? They always have the title, and then they have... You know, the short little part afterwards. If, if it were up to me, and if that would work out with video traction... Then the name would just be the second title. Would we'll just be like K Santa Pro Challenger cast. Done. However, that's not how things work, and so we shall adapt and try to serve this as well as possible, right? Serve the content as well as possible, get it out there. By the way, if you're enjoying the content, you're still watching, you're probably enjoying it, then feel free to hit the subscribe. And the bell. If you really want to support the video, then share it. Show it to your friends, your family, your dog, anyone. All the all the wild creatures of the sea. And just yeah. That that I would very much appreciate because that is exactly what the algorithm loves, 
it is the fact that you go from this video and you click onto another video of mine. That's that's one. And the other one is sharing. So very interesting. Just learned that about the YouTube algorithm. I've, I haven't really been into YouTube. Uh, I was more of a streamer. But now, as you can see, I'm, I'm clearly more of a YouTuber than I am a streamer. Although, yeah, calling myself anything in that regard seems kind of weird. As if I say, I, you, you know, you can't say I'm... can't say I'm very successful at it right now, but all of that is going to come. I'm sure. I trust. Ooh, where did Darius go? Yeah, he looped back around. Okay, are we gonna start the Baron? Our jungler is dead, so probably not the best of ideas. Okay, Santa feels like it is a good idea. He's gonna charge his Q. So that's kind of the, yeah, the Yasuo syndrome. Ooh, jumps onto the Darius, and Darius running for his life. But his team has showed up, and yeah, yeah I mean, you're, you're just dead, Kesant. You just don't kill him. Uh, Ooh, thank you very much, Gragas. Thank you for the help. Yeah. And he's back in the fight. Bada boom, bada man. Ooh, actually really good rel engage, but no one to follow up. Okay, Santa. Still alive. We're we knocking up the Gragas as well, throwing around people. Yo, this champion seems uh, legit. Oh my god, and he has Walmong's armor. <laughs> He's gonna be full life in no time, dude. That's ridiculous. I like it. <laughs> this guy doesn't seem to have mana problems either. So, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Is he broken? I'm not sure, but... Definitely is one hell of a champion. Let's put it that way. Definitely is one hell of a champion. I don't even know... If without his ultimate, he can rival Orn's damage. Kind of weird, but I think Orn can Orn, Orn can actually kind of out damage him. But I think not not in extended trades, right? In in short trades, yes. Not in extended trades, no way. Q just gives way too much value. Way too much. Okay, we're moving into a frozen heart. It's gonna give him a little bit of mana to work with, although. He doesn't really need that, but, you know, it is what it is. I, I would love to see something like the uh, Demonic Embrace, because, I mean, Demonic is just good on melees nowadays. It got nerfed, right? But it's just good on melees. There's good amount of beefiness on the enemy team. You'll do a good amount of damage. And uh, Cassandra does have AP scalings, I believe. So. Pretty good. And you apply it every single time you apply your Frostfire Gauntlet as well. Get some H a a AP as well. Okay. Pulls him up. Pulls him in. Jumps around. What a ridiculous champion. If I had. Woo! A beautiful job. 12, 4, and 9. This case, Santa is popping the hell off. 12, 4, and 10. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one and on my live stream right after my holidays. Stay awesome.